Uh. Hello guys. What's going on everybody? Den Den going out here or you can call me Killerjo119 and today I'm going to talk about my philosophies of a happy life. Everyone in life has their own philosophy. Some say they don't have a philosophy. Well, actually, they're just lying or unaware. The twist here is that the reason they don't have a philosophy or for them they don't have one is just because they don't know what philosophy means or they just misunderstood the concept of philosophy. Well, that's also the same case for me. Every time I hear sentences with high vocabulary words or something that sounds smart or something mind-blowing, I can conclude it's a philosophy. But it's not. But now that, you know, I am now more aware and I have more knowledge about philosophy, it widened my perspective of what philosophy is and what are its contributions to our world. In my life, I only follow two simple philosophies. First one is holding on to what is good while being pulled to what is bad. The second one, well, that's a surprise, and it's for you to find out. Fight it, take the pain, ignite it, tie a noose around your mind. Loosen up to breathe, find and tie it to a tree, tell it you belong to me. This ain't a noose, this is a leash, and I have news for you, you must obey me. You are surrounding all my surroundings, sounding down the mountain range of my left side brain. You are surrounding. For my first philosophy, I got it from a song which is called Holding On To You by 21 Pilots. Their music actually helped me get through of times and negative thoughts. Usually, I'm the type of guy who only listens to the beat of the song, the tune of the song, and actually never focusing on the lyrics and the meaning of the song. But when I dug through the lyrics of the song, I was impacted by it because the song actually had a really deep meaning. The song talks about trying to hold on to what is good or you're being pulled by what is bad or we can say that you're confused either to do the good things or the bad thing and after that I realized hey this is familiar the the meaning of the song well actually I pretty much realized that it was like my life in my life I'm always trying to do good while I'm being tempted to do bad things but there are just really some times when I can't control myself in certain problems and it makes me do things that can hurt others or hurt myself. But before I do these bad actions, I always think of what consequences it might have to others and to myself. That's why most of the times in certain problems, I just keep my mouth zipped or stay silent because I'm afraid that my actions will lead to greater harm or I'm insecure of my actions and that's why I always think of other lives rather than myself for me my life may not that have much worth or I might not find the value of it yet but for others it's worth a lot to them my family also helped me overcoming my problems but I'm also thankful that I have friends who are there who are always open and free to listen to my problems and actually care about it which will make me feel more worth it my second and final philosophy like I said it's up to you well I actually said it a while ago and that will be to be simple live simple do not do not live a very complicated life you do not need to buy many technologies many products because these things will only make your life very complicated making you have more problems these are only just want you can survive without them just go and build a, a small house you do not need to live in a very big mansion you don't need very luxurious cars you don't need a lot of money you don't need a lot of like I said technology 
these things will only just disappear when you're dead. You cannot bring these things wherever you are when you're dead. Just live a simple life and be happy to the things that you have now. In life, it is not easy. We're not made out of steel or something hard that when this problem hits us, it just bounce back. No, we gotta absorb it. Problems are a key ingredient in our life. It does not mean that problems come to us, it just that means we'll just let it affect us. No, there's a choice there. It's up to us if we will let the problem affect us or we will face the problem, we will fight it, and in the end, we will defeat it. And just like what I said, problems are a key ingredient in our life. Sometimes, all the problems will come to you at once. But, it does not mean you have to fight it alone. Or, you can lend a helping hand to others, to us. People are not afraid to help you. Rather, they are willing to help you. In the end, there will only be two outcomes. One is, the pro you let the problem affect you. You didn't do anything in which you're still the same old you. Or, the problem has even furthermore corrupted your mind, your body, and your soul. Or, the problem made you a better person and has strengthened every aspect of you. This is Kimmy 109, signing out.